pioneer in the fast. To a long world. fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Me personally, uh, I don't check them at all anymore, um, just because I kind of have an intuition, uh, just doing this for several years, since 2013 keto, that I'm in ketosis versus I'm not in ketosis. But for the person who wants to know how often should they check, uh, in the beginning, I do see the value in checking your glucose and ketones, all right? The first seven to 14 days, are you actually in ketosis? Let's verify that. There's three different ways to test ketones, and a lot of people kind of get this mixed up because there's uh, three different types of ketones. So it makes sense. So you have beta hydroxybutyrate, which is in the blood. And then you have acetone, which the breath expels. And then you have acetoacetate where the urine expels that. And a lot of people, Mindy, they go for the urine strips because it's the cheapest option. It's on Amazon, the urine strips, but that's not going to be the best measure to know whether or not you're actually in ketosis. And the reason is this, Um, when you are actually becoming more efficient and your cells are actually using those ketones, it's not going to spill out in the year in the urine. So it could give you a lot of false negatives and you could beat yourself up and think you're not doing things right. And, you know, drop your carbs some more, but in reality, you could just be using those ketones so efficiently that it's not going to show up in the urine. So I would not recommend urine strips. Now breath meters over the years have had their problems. They've been hit or miss. There is a good device that I like um, called Biosense that does a really good job and they give you an ACE score and you could correlate that score to blood measurement. So I do like them and you don't have to prick your fingers, but the gold standard still is to this day, uh, blood ketones. And the cool thing about using a blood ketone device is that they typically give you glucose and ketones and it's good to get both. So beta hydroxybutyrate, if you're hitting 0.5 or higher on that blood ketone reading, you're in ketosis. And the goal is not more ketones. I know you get this all the time, Mindy. How do I get my I, ketones? I know. More is better. That's more our is not culture. Better. Just, just like um, <laughs> glucose is another energy source, but mm-hmm. more, higher glucose is not the goal. It's optimal glucose. Same thing with ketones. So for me, my personal sweet spot and for a lot of my Keto Camp Academy students, for them to feel really good is somewhere around 0.8 to 2.8 uh, beta hydroxybutyrate. That's a finger prick. So how often should you test? Definitely the first two weeks, just to verify that. I like testing about an hour after waking up and then also an hour or two hours after eating a meal to see if that meal kicked you out of ketosis or not. You might have a food sensitivity. So those are the times that that I test. Now, you don't have to do this for months and years. You could do this maybe for like a month or two, kind of get a good idea, good gauge on where you are with your routine. Uh, But for me, I've done it so long that I I don't really test anymore.